All right, everybody, welcome in, welcome in. We got another fun one for you. This time, Bant Midrange, deck number two in our series for It's a Bant Monday. Um, so what do we got? We've got some uh, pretty uh, common cards at this point, commonly known uh, in the standard format. Prophecy of Sin Keeper, when it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Tangled Floridhedron, uh, either as a mana dork or as a potential land. Uh, Brutal Cathar and Skyclave Apparition are our removal spells of choice. Uh, Brutal Cathar, when it enters the battlefield or transforms into Brutal Cathar, exile target creature and opponent controls until this creature leaves the battlefield. Skyclave Apparition, when this enters the, also a 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile the one target non-land, non-token permanent you don't control with mana value 4 or less. And then when this leaves the battlefield, the exile card's owner creates an XX Blue Illusion creature token where X is the mana value of the exile card. Uh, a nice little one of Legion Angel. So we, this is a 4 mana 4-3 four, with flying and when it enters the battlefield, you'll reveal a card you own named Legion Angel from outside the game put in your hand. Uh, in that case, it means get one from your sideboard and put it into your hand. Wandering Emperor, as we all know, 4 mana, 3 loyalty planeswalker with flash. As long as the Wandering Emperor entered the battlefield this turn, you may activate her loyalty abilities anytime you can cast an instant. Plus one, hmm, puts a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature, and then it also gains first strike until the end of turn. Create a, it's minus one, or her minus one, sorry. Create a 2-2 two, two white samurai creature token with vigilance, and then her minus two exile target creature, You get, and then you gain two life. Gnarled Professor, 4 mana 5-4, Trample. When Null Professor enters the battlefield, you learn. Falco Sparrow, Pack Weaver. Oh, sorry. We'll talk about that one. Talk about that one later when we get to all the new cards. Uh, Mind Flare, a 5 mana 3-3 three, three with Dominate Monster. When Mind Flare enters the battlefield, gain control target creature for as long as you control Mind Flare. Kyrie, the Swirling Sky, 6 mana 6-6, six, six, Flying Ward 3. When Kyrie the Swirling Sky dies, choose one. Return any number target non-land permanents with total mana value six or less to their owner's hand. Mill six cards and return up to two instants and or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. CK Restoration, either as a land or with the draw cards. Turn to Mysterbiosis, either as a way to put a card into play or as a potential land. Um, as for new cards, what do we have? We have Gallag Readers, a two mana one one that we with alliance that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn so you can either put a plus one plus one counter on the greeters create a tap treasure token or you can gain two life another new card the falco sparrow pack weaver um we saw this card in well we saw this card and we also saw gala greeters in the band tokens deck if you haven't seen that video make sure to look for it also on youtube uh it's a 4 mana 3-3 three, three with Flying and Trample. Fa Falco Sparrow Pack Weaver enters the battlefield with a shield counter on it. You may look at the top card of your library at any time, and then you may cast spells on the top of your library by removing a counter from a creature you control in addition to paying their other loyalty costs. Or, sorry, in addition to paying their other costs. Uh, while we are not able to abuse this as much as we were able to with um, Broker's Ascendancy, because Broker's Ascendancy is constantly able to put more counters on our creatures, we do have some, we still do have some creatures that do uh, have some counter synergies. Wandering Emperor puts counters on our creatures. Gallic Raiders puts counters on itself. Uh, so there are still ways to kind of make use of Falcos, but maybe not as much as we were able to with Broker's Ascendancy. Another new card in Workchief Warchief, uh, kind of like a sort of kind of Thrag Tusk. Uh, so it's a 5 mana 5 3 with Trample. When Workchief. When Workshop Warchief enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. And then when it dies, create a 4 4 green rhino creature token. Uh, and then you can pay its blitz cost, which is 6 mana. And then if you cast a spell for its blitz cost, it gains haste. And then whenever this creature dies, draw a card, then you sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Uh, and then another new card, and one of my favorite cards, also from the set, maybe aside from Broker's Ascendancy, is Titan of Industry. A 7 mana 7 7 with Reach and Trample. And then when Titan of Industry enters the battlefield, choose two. So you can either destroy target artifact or enchantment. Target player gains five life. Create a 4-4 green rhino creature token. Or put a shield counter on the creature you control. And then, last new card, aside from the Sparrow's headquarters, um, is Vivian on the Hunt. 
So this is a 6 mana, 4 loyalty planeswalker. You may sacrifice a creature. If you do, search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to 1, plus the sacrifice creature's mana value, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Uh, so kind of like a uh, Eldritch Evolution-ish card, but I think Eldritch Evolution was 2 more. Um, yo, what up, Chronicle? Appreciate that lurk. Uh, so kind of a nice little way also for us to turn, say, a Workshop War Chief into a Kyrie and a Kyrie into a Titan of Industry. Um, so, nice little synergies there. Uh, you can turn your four, you turn your Legion Angel that you just got more copies from your sideboard uh, into a Mind Flayer or a Workshop War Chief um, via Vivian. But Vivian's uh, other plus is also mill five cards and put any number of creature cards milled this way into your hand. As you can see, every card in our deck, aside from a Seagate, a turn timber and these lands are all creatures uh so theoretically speaking vivian should be able to get a decent amount of creatures unless we like mill five lands in which case we're probably happy with that too anyway uh and then her pseudo ultimate which isn't like really an ultimate but create a 4-4 green rhino warrior creature token uh that's the deck what do we got we have 21 lands and then we have the four tangled florahedrons the turn different Soviosis and the Seagate Restoration uh, as also lands for us as well. Uh, so we'll take the deck through five matches, see how it goes, and then we'll discuss any changes that we would make after those, sorry, not five matches, five games. Uh, and then we'll discuss any changes we would make after those five games. So, uh, let's see. go. Like I said, just finished playing the Bant Tokens deck. Deck went Sort of kind of 4-1. Um, if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to look for it also on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, hello from the past. How's the future? Hopefully, hopefully it's good. Thunder goes first. This hand is pretty bad. Uh, doesn't do anything till turn three. Um, not the ideal hand, so we're gonna mulligan. This is remarkably better. We'll win one more cheat. Goblin Javelier. Alright. We don't have a lot of removal. Whenever a samurai or a warrior is going to leave you this kind of card if you do draw a card. Chose not to discard anything. Probably not a great sign for us. Put the Tingle Four Hedron. We'll play this as Bark Channel Pathway, and then if this lives, we'll play Falco Sparrow. This seems weird, because, like, Falco Sparrow wants your stuff to attack, like, by themselves?
Or, yeah, sorry, not Falco Sparrow, sorry. Uh, the Ronin wants, like, your stuff to attack separately, but then, like, obviously, like, the Battle Goblin wants everything to attack together. Yeah, that's fine. is pretty nice. Fireblade? Sure. Your attacks are no longer good, so that's good for us. Um, so we're going to Gallag Readers. Then we are going to Brulukathar. Brulukathar is going to take the Goblin. I'm going to put a counter on the Readers. Hopefully this slows him down a little bit. Spice, he wouldn't like risk just. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, can take one. Professor, we're getting too low. Just be on the safe side, we don't want to risk dying or anything. Uh, you're not going to block in your so you two can swing. Still so gotta be careful. Um, more than likely we can sky pay that version whatever he plays next turn. Pay three life to ping this. Maybe block him with a war chief. Might have been smarter. Oh, to be fair, I guess I can sky cave apparition with a card he takes, so it's probably. Good stuff. Alright, nice first game. Wasn't entirely sure how that would go since we were playing against Mother Red. Alright, nice start there. Nice 1 0 so far. So far, deck seems pretty good. Um, didn't really get, didn't get a chance to play Vivian, which is kind of sad. White source since we don't have too many blue in our hand, or honestly, that many blue in our deck to begin with. Does that change anything? No, we still want this as a white source. Wait, Tangled Flory Hedron? Probably gonna go Overgrown Farmland and the Legion Angel. Never mind, we're gonna Sky Cave Apparition for this. Can't let the Juke Eye Naturals go unchecked. They actually don't have too many bases. I 
I'd actually take this trade, so. I would not want to trade this with a spirit to companion. If he wants to do that, that's fine. So it's a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, it doesn't work the way you thought it might have. So if we swing in with everything, he has to block. Alright, we'll just go to combat, swing in with everything, see what happens. And go from there.
Everything swings in. He can gain nine. Uh, but if he blocks the Titan, it doesn't work the way you thought it would. <laughs> so those will die. The Kami does come back. this correctly so that this died. Well, I didn't map it correctly. That's my bad. I guess there were only... Yeah, but there were two enchantments. That didn't make any sense. I guess before... But damage had been dealt, and then it should've... I feel like it should've died. But, alright. I thought I mapped it correctly, but I didn't. Hello, Bobby. Right, so they keep six. Still contemplating what they're going to do. Alright, we'll go Overgrown Tomb. Not Overgrown Tomb, Overgrown Farmland, sorry. Thinking of a different format. <laughs> Blossoming Sands, sure. You rather attack or you rather attack? Alright, sure. Um, I think I like playing Innkeeper here. Uh, then we can go uh, Park Channel Pathway.
play Legion Angel. Grab another. Uh, then we'll go Bark Channel Pathway, Legion Angel. Uh, and then the following turn, probably go Sparrow's Headquarters. Yo, Cursey, what's good? Fortellaway. Yo, much love to you too, Cursey. Thank you for bringing everybody over. I appreciate you. Uh, so we'll swing for four. Pussy. Excuse me. Play another Legion Angel. Uh, now this turn we'll go Sparrow's Headquarters. I'm completely fine with this. The Wandering Emperor dies still to the other Legion Angel. So this is completely fine with me. this play another legion angel use legion angel get another one all right so then we'll play park channel pathway then we're gonna vivian glorious sunrise sure probably choose a game for your life Yo, Chris, we're gonna try. Now this is the card we want to take. Off of the Mind Flare. Probably choose the game three life. I don't know if draw card. Ah, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna play Gallag Readers. Uh we're gonna go to combat. Don't mind if either one of these die. So if he wants to trade the celestial unicorn with the workshop war chief, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I didn't think he would. This might be a Doom Scar. Um, so I think we're gonna Legion Angel, sacrifice it, get Mind Flare. Uh, put counter on you, steal you. So even if he board wipes, I can Vivian down tick to make a 4 4. We're in a really good spot here, so I'm not concerned. We can cycle the Sparrow Headquarters if, also if he does board wipe, so yep, kind of figured that that was the last card in this game, was, or that was the card he foretold was Doom Scar. Plus I get a 4-4 token, so. Uh... Star Pupil. We're gonna cycle the headquarters. Wondering Emperor is really good. Turn to Misubiosis is also really good. Alright, so we're gonna blitz the war chief. We we'll gain three life. Play the Florihedron. Move to combat. Swing in. Then we'll have Vivian sacrifice the war chief. Kyrie. Draw a card. Alright. Oh, clever. Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were going to. 
Like, choose to gain three life. I was like, in this case, he was still alive. Like, if he gained three life, he still would have technically been alive and had, like, a turn to draw out. But that game is probably over. Alright. So we see the power of Vivian there. We see how well how well Vivian worked, how well she also is like, how great she is also. Well, I guess any Planeswalker post Wrath is also pretty good too. Um, all right, double Vivian seems a little annoying. I would like something in between two and five. So hopefully we draw something there. Um, Untapped White Source would be great. There's a way you block this, right? Now granted, we are now kind of stuck if we don't draw lanes. So, maybe sacrificing this to play the Skyco Apparition might not have been smart. Like, we need land land. And even then, this might be a little too slow. Oh, let's see. Right, first step. So if we draw another untapped land, we can play Workshop Warchief. But we'd still need like another land to really like go off. Tertiary Stomper. He has three cards up in hand. No way you probably activate that. Or if we draw like a Wanderer, I'll take that too. There are a few options here, but. Seven lands the Stomper can finally attack and block. So I'd like to draw a land here so I can Vivian and do something. Uh, if we don't draw a land, it's probably fine because whatever we don't, if we don't draw a land, probably whatever we, um, whatever we draw, we can probably play unless it's another Vivian. So now he can sacrifice the Neverwinter Dryad to draw a card. Or not to draw a card, sorry, to put a land into play. He didn't play a land though. So you think he has a bunch of spells in hand. Alright, so now we are going to Vivian. So now we are going to uptick Vivian. I guess I could sacrifice you, also Innkeeper, to get a 3 drop. That seems unnecessary. We're just gonna go with my original plan. This is a two and one. Uh, cause we sacrifice the war chief, we get a four four, 
and we get a Kyrie, and we gain two life. So this all kind of seems worth it. Didn't do some dishes, bro. Got you up, fam. Yo, Chris, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, no attack. So now he'll probably sacrifice the Neverwinter Dryad. A land off the top means we can play Titan, which would be really good here. Uh, cause we could get a 4-4. Yo, what up, Lethal? Gala Greeters. Interesting. Sculptor of Winter. Would you like a treasure token? Not much. Uh, how's your day going? Exotic? The raid? Exotic, much love, bro. How was uh how was Rust? Oh, we drew the land. Oh, okay. So everything's kind of just going up us right now. Um I can't flip and shout him out. Uh Rhino Shield Counter. Uh you get a shield. So now we can down tick Vivian. The other Vivian probably isn't. So we're gonna mill five and see how many creatures you get. I will choose up to three. I will take all three of these. Yo! Complex, what's good? About to play some R6 Leech. Siege. Nice! Are you enjoying that, Lethal? I've heard kind of mixed reviews about it. But those have obviously been, well, not obviously, but those have been for people who I don't really know. So, I don't know if they're, they're speaking facts or not. I love your arena username. Yo, Stefan, right? This was going to be my stage name and, uh, like, life didn't work out. What's funny is I can brutal cathar this. Yo, what up, Bix Plays? Just got done watching Exotic play some Rust. Yo, how'd he do? Put a shield counter. It was really cool. Yeah, I've been like a really big Rust fan. Uh, I've been a really big Rust fan. Uh, I haven't played it in a minute, but I really do enjoy it. Chilling with some m magic for a bit. Yo, big boys, let's appreciate that. Appreciate you being in here. So we can go Prosperous Innkeeper again, and then we can go Brutal Cathar, take their Titan. They probably don't have a way to really answer. He still can't block with the Topiary. He can double block. Oh, that's also really good too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Haven't actually played video games in this, so it was very enjoyable. Oh, nice. Is there a reason why you haven't been able to play video games in Minute Parker? Okay, so we'll gain a life. Do this. We're going to Legion Angel. Take this. Take this. We're going to Vivian. Sacrifice the Legion Angel. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Russ is definitely made to be played like co-op. We're gonna take Mind Flayer. We're gonna Mind Flayer, take your Titan. Uh, definitely meant to be played co-op. Like 100%. Kids and such take up a lot of time. Y you know, that's what I've heard. I don't have kids, so I don't know anything about that, but... Dumbest, aim, dumbest combo I saw for Angel Suffering? I'm sure that's probably not the dumbest combo ever, like, created for Angel of Suffering. Go get him, Kyrie. It's still amazing that this Topiary Stomper can't attack yet. <laughs> Do you have another Titan? Because I will take that Titan as well. Oh, wait, shit. I only have one Mind Flayer. I meant to have more of these. I meant to put more Mind Flayers in this deck, but I can't craft more. 
I mean, I can't take damage and they can't mill out. It's pretty dumb. I mean, if you can't do either of those things, it sounds pretty good to me, if I'm going to be honest with you. All right, so opponent can literally play every card in their hand right now. This is non-tokens, right? Yeah, non-tokens. I guess technically they only have six mana currently, so. Uh, but Brutal Cathar is going to take a shy, for sure. Um, unless he plays... Wait, well, now he's tapped out. So, I think I'm okay with this. Like, your Vivian dies. Unless you get... You don't have a six drop in play, so you can't get another Titan. I imagine you would plus one. I'm not sure what six drop you could get here. I mean, maybe like a Warren Glyph. I'm not sure if that does anything for you, though. Yeah, I kind of figured that this is the one who's gonna. Wow! You were playing way too many non creatures in your deck. <laughs> Yo, what up, Stank? Alright, so we're gonna Brutal Cathar, we're gonna take a Shia. Give me another Shia. Now, I could sacrifice his Titan. It doesn't get me anything. Doing the Rusting? Yo, nice. I could sacrifice Titan. I don't have an 8 drop in our deck, so that doesn't really do too much for us. But it is an option. Um, or I could just attack with everything. Wait, is he just dead? Am I overthinking this and we- so he blocks blocks. Oh, yeah. Four, four... You know what? We- d I don't do math here. If only you figure it out. He gave up. All he of you. Gave up. The dude was like, I- I don't want any Get rolled by seven-year-olds <laughs> with eight cakes? Yo, stink that's honestly the reason why I stopped. Why, <laughs> why I stopped playing Rust for? Why I stopped playing it. I kept getting, like- Killed by like six year olds just getting off of school, high on G fuel, just fucking wrecking. That was just like, nope, not my vibe. You can still technically lose it's from life loss, but that's why I toss him Platinum Angel, for I can't lose. Oh shit, okay, Vix, nice. What is this? Is this 2 1? Is this 2 1 or is this 3 1? Yo, what up, Hockey? I've honestly lost track. I actually don't know what the record is right now. It's a really dumb combo deck. Yeah, but if I'm gonna be honest with you, Bix, like the dumb combo decks are always like the best ones, you know? I feel like. There was mono red. There was the deck where I swung in when I shouldn't have swung in. That was enchantment. Is that three? So another deck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I done already forgot. Okay, we'll make this a little last one because I can't remember. Seems reasonable -ish. I'd like to draw an un untapped land so I don't have to use Turn Timber Symbiosis as a land for Turn to Prosperous Innkeeper. Um, but other than that, it seems really good. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. I should have played Tango Floor Hedron, that was dumb. Well, actually, maybe it wasn't that much. Might have been smarter plays there. Um... Treasure, treasure. So, if he plays a large enough threat, I can Vivian and sacrifice, like, the Tango Florahedron. You're playing Bant? 
wedding announcement? I could take the wedding announcement. Which might be the mood, to be honest with you. Okay, well, not much just woke up. All right, Aki, that's, wait, that's like, I guess it's like 10 p.m. for you, right? 10, 11, I actually don't remember what time it is for you. Either way, I hope you slept well. Remember everybody, if you haven't done so yet, if you wanna do me a favor, click that link, retweet it. Every retweet's a potential new face here in the stream. Uh, it's actually 12 a.m. Oh, okay, so you're six hours ahead of me. Uh, and then also, if you want to, once again, no pressure. There's a link to my Discord. Feel free to join if you so choose. If you choose not to, I might shed a couple tears, but I'll understand. You know, it just be like that sometimes. Um, well, I think that's it for this one. All right, so let's see. All right. Yo, Kanye! Coming in with the raid, let's go! Wait, Kanye, this was your first affiliate stream, right? How'd it go? Or Kane. Why do I keep calling you fucking Kanye? Right, Kane? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> um, so, this is the deck. Uh, it went good? Yo! Kane, that's fucking great. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, so this is a deck. Honestly, I think it did really well. Aside from the fact that I can't... Yo, Kane, thanks so much for that follow. Uh, except for the fact that I can't do math. Um, other than that, I'd say the deck went really well. Um, Kane, what did you stream? Um, other than... Not doing math, because I don't do that. Um, otherwise, yes, I think the deck did really well. The combination of being between using Vivian to find the cards that you need to like get out of situations proved to be great. Being able to get Skyclave Apparitions, being able to get Mind Flayer to steal our opponent's Titan was great. Um, uh, so other than that, uh, I'd have so to say, yo, Sylvia, thank okay. you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Horde, I appreciate you. Uh, we played some Apex Legends, but I saw Magic and had to come in. Well, Kane, that's pretty much all I stream. It's pretty just it's just magic. I've been watching a lot of Apex lately, and I keep telling myself I'm gonna start playing it, uh, but then I get scared. Um, being able to like get some like value off of like being able to sacrifice the war, the workshop war chief. Maybe like one more six drop because since Kyrie is the only way to go six into seven, maybe having one more six drop might be beneficial. Um, the other thing that would change is probably add in more mind flares. I don't have any, I don't have any more, so I currently can't. Uh, but mind flare is the other thing that I would definitely consider adding in to the deck. Other than that, I think it played well. Um, didn't get land screwed like I thought I might, having only be 21 lands. But other than that, I'd say this deck was great. Uh, highly do, 10 out of 10, I do recommend this deck. Um... So that's it for this YouTube video. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to leave me a like, leave a comment, make sure to share it with your friends. And in the comment section, let me know what you think, what are the changes you might make to the deck, how you think the deck is, how you think it did. Um, and also, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to head on over to my Twitch. You can catch me live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time until whenever I decide to get off for the night. Um, YouTube folks, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys live at some point.